What's happening, friends? Trumpeter Bobby Spellman here. The internet is a modern miracle, and over the last couple of decades, it has totally transformed the way that we're able to get our information by decentralizing and democratizing our sources of knowledge and by making information on virtually any subject accessible to anybody with an internet connection. However, this expansive access to free information brings with it the inevitability of scoundrels and dimwits peddling misinformation to all of the well-meaning knowledge seekers on the World Wide Web. Today, I'm here to call out one of these morons by name. The diaphragm can be an extremely useful tool in pushing the air out of our lungs. It's me. Yeah, unfortunately, in one of my videos, I got the mechanics of the diaphragm wrong, so I wanted to do a little follow-up video to uh, correct my mistakes and to set the record straight for the trumpet-playing world. So, without further ado, let's dive right in in this episode of... Trumpet with Bob. A little while ago, I released a video entitled Don't Tighten Your Lips to Play High Notes. In this video, I deal with a concept that has helped each and every one of my students to expand their range and build their endurance and improve their flexibility by better understanding the mechanics of the trumpet and the way that we can manipulate our airstreams in order to more easily move around the range of the instrument. Now, the part about the diaphragm is somewhat incidental to the underlying concept, and the premise of the video is still spot on. I'm coming for you, haters. However, some of you correctly pointed out that I did not get the mechanics of the diaphragm correct. Now, I learned most of what I know about the respiratory system from other trumpet players and not from biologists. So, I have a sense that there may be a little bit of confusion out there in the musical community about the mechanics of our muscles and how all of this works, and I'm here to set the record straight. Uh, hopefully, as we continue to learn more about the mechanics of our respiratory system, we can use that information to become better trumpet players. And with that, let's dive in. The respiratory cycle can be broken down into two parts. Inhalation, also called inspiration, and exhalation, also called expiration. Now, inhalation is an active process, meaning that it requires our muscles to contract actively in order to open up what's called our thoracic cavity and allow air to rush into our lungs from the outside atmosphere. Exhalation, or expiration, on the other hand, is a passive activity, is a passive process, meaning that all our muscles have to do is to relax in order to allow our lungs to return to their normal state thus naturally allowing the air to move out of our lungs back into the world. All right, so the diaphragm, along with what are called the external intercostal muscles, has a critical role in inspiration. When we inhale, the diaphragm actively contracts, thus increasing the volume of our thoracic cavity and the volume of our lungs, forcing air from the atmosphere into our lungs. However, the diaphragm has a very different role in expiration. When we exhale, all the diaphragm has to do is to relax. And in relaxing, it allows the lungs and the other muscles to return to their normal state, thus naturally allowing the air to return to the atmosphere. It's a little bit like blowing up this balloon. When I blow up the balloon, it's an active process. But once the balloon is inflated, it requires a passive process to return to its normal balloon state, thus blowing the air out of the balloon. Let's check it out. <laughs> Takes a little active effort to blow this balloon up, but now that it's blown up, it will be a passive activity for the air to return to its normal state uh, in the atmosphere and allow the balloon to return to its relaxed state. And there we have it. You can try this out for yourself by really focusing on your breathing. Inhale and notice the muscles in your body contracting, your diaphragm contracting, and the active effort it takes to get the air in. And then as you breathe out, notice your muscles relaxing to allow the air to return to the environment. Here, give it a try for yourself. Now, when brass players talk about breathing with your diaphragm, we're talking about the active process of using that diaphragm muscle to contract and bring as much air into your lungs as possible. Where I got it wrong is the idea that the diaphragm muscle also has something to do with pushing that air out of your lungs. In reality, 
the diaphragm, no matter what, while you're exhaling, is only just going to relax to allow the air out of your lungs. Now, this is about the end of the story if you're dealing with just your average bald, bipedal ape wandering through the universe, naturally breathing in and out. In that case, while you wander around and observe the wonder and beauty around you, all you're doing is actively breathing in, but passively breathing out. However, as brass players and wind players, we need to be able to consciously control our airstreams and actively exhale. This requires a whole different set of muscles. So, when playing a wind instrument, we have to make the expiration process an active process. That will not involve the diaphragm, which is going to be relaxed, but instead will involve a series of other muscles, including most notably the rectus abdominal muscles and the external obliques. In this case, a series of other muscles are going to contract in order to decrease quickly the volume of the thoracic cavity, thus forcing air out of your lungs and into your trumpet or trombone or euphonium, tuba, flute, clarinet, saxophone, or whatever happens to be on your face at that given time. This will enable you to control your air speed, control the air pressure, and get some of those high notes that you've been looking for. All right, you can check out this active process of exhalation for yourself by taking a big breath and really trying to quickly push that air out of your lungs and back into the atmosphere. Really notice your abdominal muscles and your external obliques, if you can, contracting to decrease the volume of your thoracic cavity, thus pushing the air forcefully out of your lungs. <sighs> Give it a try for yourself. All right, gang, well, this lesson has been primarily an overview of the mechanics of the respiratory system. And, uh, you know, I think this stuff is really interesting and it's worth learning as you continue to play trumpet so that you understand the mechanics biologically of what's going on while you're playing. However, I do think that there are some practical uses that we can glean from this information. Uh, for one, I think that there's probably something to be said for doing regular exercises to build your abdominal muscles and the external obliques in order to be able to quickly expel that air from your lungs and improve your air control. Now, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on that and I think I might make a video in the future. So I'll do, I'll do some uh, experiments on myself uh, in that respect and I'll let you know if it helps to uh, do some exercises to build up those muscles in order to gain better air control. So stay tuned for that video in the future. All right, before we go, I wanna give a shout out to everybody who posted a comment on the High Notes video, trying to help me better understand the way that the diaphragm works when breathing. I also wanna give a special shout out to everybody who was able to do it in a friendly way without sounding like a smug know-it-all. But even to you smug know-it-alls out there, I wanna let you know that I love you and I will always try to get the information right on this channel, so be sure to let me know if there's ever anything you think I should correct or if there's any more information on any subject that would help all the people that get to see this video. All right, gang, well, this has been a lot of fun. I hope that you've learned as much as I have about the respiratory system on this one. And be sure to leave any questions or comments down in the comments below and I will try to get back to you. All right, have a wonderful time playing around with this information, playing the trumpet and getting your breathing together. And we'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Trumpet with Bob. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope it helps in your pursuit of the majesty of musical self-expression. If you like what we're doing here, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Big thanks to all the new subscribers. We really appreciate your support and we're gonna keep putting out some new videos for you. The Ridgewood School of Music is now accepting new students for lessons online as well as in person in the Brooklyn, Queens, and greater New York City area. You can find us on our website at www.ridgewoodschoolofmusic.com and you can send us a message and we would love to help you achieve all of your musical dreams. For some more musical fun, you can also follow me, Bobby Spellman, on Instagram, at Bob Spellman, or in any of the other social media platforms listed in the description below. Thanks again for checking out this video. Happy practicing, and we'll catch you next time.